Good evening. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 6.51 in the evening on Monday, August 30th, 2021. 6.51 in the evening, Monday, August 30th, 2021. All right. Let's get right to the uh, forecast here. We had been calling for a strong earthquake in San Francisco Bay. And um, we were listening or we were uh, seeing very strong signals. There's, you get strong signals, you know, uh, nine or 10 days out before an earthquake and then eight days out, seven days out and so on. And uh, it's difficult sometimes to know uh, which signal is which. Uh, and that's what, what we made a problem, we made a, uh, uh, forecast that um, on a signal that was way out thinking that it was only a few days away. Well, that's what happened. There's a strong earthquake coming to San Francisco Bay. And now this signal uh, matches what's going on. And that is on September 1st. 6.1 earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay, uh, most likely on September 1st right here. And this one here will produce a 5.6 on the late in the third into the fourth in the San Francisco Bay. So let's go to, and we'll get back to this in a second. Let's go to the uh, Alaska forecast first. And we have a 4.0 earthquake that's likely on August 31st in Anchorage. And then a 4.8 is likely on September 3rd. All right, then let's go to uh, Koalinga. Kolinga Parkfield forecast, which is in uh, West Central California, south of San Francisco Bay and northwest of Los Angeles. 5.1 earthquake is possible early in the morning on September 1st. And a 6.4, very strong earthquake, is coming to uh, Central California on September 4th. Now, we don't have data for the East Central, but this, this one will stand in for that. So the warning will be a 6.4 is uh, possible in the Coalinga Park field over to Bakersfield and Ridgecrest and East Central California. And that's coming up for the fourth. But let's get through this first quake, which is a strong quake for the San Francisco Bay area coming up on late on the 31st into the first. And we'll get to that in a second. El Centro. The risk is high, uh, very high on the 31st into September 1st. And a, a 5.3 earthquake is possible late on August 31st into the 1st. And then another strong signal, a 5.4 earthquake is possible late on September 3rd into uh, September 4th. Excuse me in a second. <clears throat> so that's for uh, El Centro down near the Salton Sea. <clears throat> Eureka, we had a strong spike here in the morning of the 30th. And we were expecting about a 4.7 on that spike in risk. And there was a 4.4. Just here's Eureka is right in here, Northwest California, Northwest of Eureka. Uh, and so we we're just a little bit off on that one. We were expecting a 4.7 and it was a 4.4 near Eureka on that spike. And then uh, this one here coming up on the 1st, to produce a 5.0 on that one. All right, in Los Angeles. Now the risk is very high, late on the 31st into the morning of the 1st, right here, right around midnight, 4.8 earthquake is likely in the Los Angeles area, late on August 31st into September 1st. Now the 31st is coming up quickly, that's tomorrow, tomorrow evening. So that'll be, uh, Tuesday evening, Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning, right here, the 31st and the 1st, 4.8 is likely in Los Angeles. 3.9 earthquake is uh, possible late on the 3rd of September into the 4th in Los Angeles. San Francisco again, expecting a strong 6.1 earthquake. And this looks like about, mm, uh, close to noon on September 1st, maybe a little bit past uh, noon. Looks like about maybe 
two, three o'clock in the afternoon. I have to look at that closer, but strong earthquake, about a 6.1 earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay uh, right around noon on September 1st. 5.6 earthquake is possible in the San Francisco Bay September 3rd or September 4th. All right, go over to Athens, Greece. Very strong spike in risk here uh, uh, late on September 2nd into September 3rd. So 5.7 earthquake is possible within 200 kilometers of Athens, Greece, late on September 2nd into the morning of September 3rd. All right, in Sendai, Japan, a 4.7 is possible on September 4th. A 6.4 is possible on the 6th into the 7th on this peak here. And a huge spike in risk coming up on September 2nd. So looking for a strong earthquake in Japan, most likely in Northern Japan. And I'll get look at some maps uh, later and figure out uh, tomorrow or as we get closer to this, where exactly in Japan, but it looks like uh, Northern Japan a uh, possible 7.2 on September 10th in uh, Northern Japan. And here's uh, Tokyo, Japan forecast. 4.7 is possible on the 4th. 5.5 is possible on September 7th. And a 7.0 on the 10th of September. Now you notice the Sendai, Miyagi, Iwate forecast. That forecast is a stronger peak than the one in Tokyo. So it's more likely to occur closer to Sendai, Japan. And like I said, we'll be looking at uh, other maps when that gets closer to that uh, forecast time. Once again, uh, in the Los Angeles area in El Centro, I believe it's even higher in El Centro. Yes, El Centro is more likely the spot where uh, something more larger, oh, we got a 3.2 down there. Um, likely four shock down there near El Centro today, just a little while ago. <clears throat> but a 5.3, so tomorrow night, uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday, looking for a strong earthquake about 5.3 late on August 31st into the 1st. And then in San Francisco Bay, a strong earthquake uh, on September 1st, 6.1 is possible late. Well, about in the afternoon of September 1st. So watch for that, warn your friends of that. Uh, and the other one is in uh, Central California, an even larger 6.4 is possible. And most likely in East Central California, uh, Northeast of Ridgecrest, that's the most likely spot on September 4th for a strong 6.4 is possible. Uh, and uh, the risk extends over to Coalinga Parkfield as well. Coalinga Parkfield, Bakersfield, Ridgecrest, and most likely to hit northeast of Ridgecrest on September 4th. So we'll watch for that, and we'll be back and uh, give you some more updates as we get closer to those uh, earthquakes. Big quake in uh, Tokyo uh, or Sendai, Japan on uh, September 10th as well. The first uh, quake to be current concerned about is the one down near El Centro uh, on the 31st and the 1st. And then the next one will be up near San Francisco Bay, about a 6.1 on September 1st, around noon, about two or three o'clock in the afternoon, I guess. All right, thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, here again, this is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. <clears throat> we'll give you an up another update tomorrow night and uh, stay safe. Have a nice week. And we will talk to you soon. Thank you so much.